My name's Sarah Hardy and I'm the curator of the De Morgan Foundation and of this exhibition, Artist of Hope. I began putting the show together in November 2020 when the world had been locked down and East Lancashire was particularly affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Looking at these paintings by Evelyn de Morgan, which were painted in response to the First World War at this very sensitive and critical time, really got me thinking about how the paintings, more than anything else, are emblems of hope. Evelyn de Morgan was born into the Victorian period when women just didn't have the same freedoms as men and the same freedoms that they enjoy today. She wanted to be an artist and went on to have a stunning professional career. However, this wasn't something that she was expected to do. She always had to have hope for a feminist future. She signed the Declaration in favour of women's suffrage in 1889 and her artworks are her symbols of hope for that. Additionally, it was interesting to talk to my mum and my cousin and my auntie, all of whom work at the Royal Blackburn Hospital. They were talking about being on the front line and of having to have hope for better days ahead whilst nursing people through the pandemic. This really resonated with some of the imagery in Evelyn de Morgan's pictures where she hoped for a peaceful resolution to the First World War. I realised that not much had changed in a hundred years in a global crisis where we all had to stick together and hope for better days ahead. This exhibition has invited local people from Burnley and from charities associated with modern day conflict to have their ideas and their experiences of living through the global pandemic displayed alongside these First World War paintings and it really helps to bring them to life and give them a contemporary relevance today. I really hope that you'll learn more about Evelyn de Morgan, about the pre-Raphaelite painting movement she was involved with and I hope that this exhibition will give you the hope you need for better days ahead.